first episode of Level 21 TV. I'm Shartira Wilkerson. And I'm Jerry Thompson. Today we have a special guest, Miss Melissa Latin from Charlotte Fashion Play. How you doing? I'm well, thank you. How was your journey here? My journey here, it's been a long day. I know traffic is crazy day. right now, right? Traffic wasn't bad, just long days. <laughs> now, what people don't know that for 16 years you was a, co a college professor. I was. Now, how did you get from college professor to being a cook? Hmm. I cooked my whole life, but I was not as passionate about it as I am now. Mm -hmm. So I just, I love it. I love doing it. So with Charlotte Fashion Plate, the mashup of fashion and food, it's a very unique and distinct combo. Like, how did you work around making that work? Because it worked so well. Thank you. So when I came to Charlotte, I did not know what I wanted to do. I knew I did not want to teach. So one summer I just said, listen, I love fashion, I love food. Um, I'm creative and can get the juices flowing when I s come up with a name. So I kept, I literally had a piece of paper and a pencil and just kept marking out names and I came up with Charlotte Fashion Plate. What do you think Charlotte can improve when it comes to fashion? Improve? Yeah, improve. Oh gosh, I mean there's a lot. I, I guess maybe not being as trendy. Like I, I love fashion, mm -hmm. but I'm not always into the trends. the trends. Okay. And it seems like once a trend hits, everybody does it. Absolutely. And why? Like you have your own style, you have your own whatever. Um, <laughs> so I got a question. Yeah. The male rompers. So how do you <laughs> feel about the male? See, me personally, I would wear. I would wear. <laughs> <laughs> Not because it's trending, but because right. it's different. Yeah, I like them. They say it remind them of the old um, Dicky yeah. Dicky jumpsuits. <laughs> well, I mean, they're they if they were made that way, like right. a hard suit or something. But no, I I kind of like them. I think if you have the body as a man, uh, again, not every man is going to be able to wear them. No, no, the cut yeah. of it, it all depends. Mm. The shorts are too short. If the top is too tight, it just it's it has to look be like a girl. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, it's yeah. like, please, exactly. sir, get out of my closet. <laughs> right. Like, let us have our yeah. sundresses. Let us have our rompers. <laughs> just leave that to the ladies. You all right. do not have to participate in all of our classic summer wear. But you know, I like if you're like Jerry, you like to. You know. Yeah, there's one he showed me today, and I think he would look good in. And I'm absolutely going to get it. I'm going to get. I think you're going to get it. This romper. Yeah. I'm really going to get it. What, was it the white one? No, the, it was. It's actually navy blue. It was blue navy. And black, yeah. Right. It was nice. It's mm -hmm. nice, and I'm going to get it, and I'm going to post it on my Instagram. I think you should. And I think I'll, you're going to kill it, and I'll like it, and I'll share it. Hey. Mm -hmm. Listen, hot topic. Miley Cyrus switched up on us again. Back what country? That's her roots, though. <laughs> it is her roots. That's, That's fine with me. But you know what? She don't want nobody. She don't want people to remember her as licking the sledgehammer and riding the wrecking ball naked. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I feel like that's enough reason to <laughs> want to revert back to I guess who you already were in the first place. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's. I mean, her dad was a excellent um, country singer, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, he absolutely was. Still is, yeah. Yeah, still is. Actually. Her dad was pretty hot too. He was. I mean, I don't know about all that. <laughs> Make fashion great again. <laughs> <laughs> we need that here, Charlotte. Make it great again. Right. Well, speaking yeah. of making great again, let's talk about Trump and leaking classified information. Well, we don't know yet. No, we know he did it. Oh. And this can get him impeached, which needs to happen ASAP. Please. And what I'm not understanding is everything, every action that this man is doing is screaming. I'm not fit to run this country. Exactly. I'm not fit to run this country, and I am very volatile. But it's sad and funny at the same time. Yes. Seriously. <laughs> I, you turn I, on the TV and you're just like, what is gonna happen next? Right. It's like politics and reality TV had a one night stand, and he is the love child. Hey, like, so I seen Iblanca's um, clothing line, and um, uh, what is it called? Like Buffalo Exchange or something. I'm like, oh. oh. This is, this is, <laughs> oh did you, did you see the markdowns of TJ Maxx? I did. I did. I'm like, one oh, cent. This, this is great. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing they're doing right. So we Stephanie and I, we visited Blended Bar Teat and checked out their spring collection. And we also visited my closet, JT's closet. Check it out. Blended Bartique here in Noda. We're here to pick out some fashions for the spring 2017 season. 
And after we leave here, we're going to check out my closet, JT's closet, for the 2017 Hottest Spring Collection. We have a few spring selections here for the ladies. I have this awesome striped dress. Um, it's very flowy. It has the slits in the bottom, as you can see here. And in the back, it's great. It's very airy, and it has the buttons here. So very fashionable. And it pairs well with this very detailed hat. It's very fun, so you can wear it out or on the town or in the in the summer, in the daytime, at night, whatever works for you. But it's really fun. So we have this, and it pairs well accessorizing with this one here. Very awesome. And then for bohemian look, because this is very bohemian, you have this awesome necklace to work with as well. So again, a great look, stripes are totally in, very fun. All right guys, for our second spring look, we have this great romper, very in, it's wide legs, so it looks good on any body type as well. You also have the awesome pockets, I'm a pocket girl, so these are great. Uh, it's very sleek, soft, so you can wear it all day. Um, and it has this great bow, so empire waist as well. Um, you can put a light jacket around it or wear nothing at all, it's simple and cute. It pairs well with this great um, hard rope uh, clutch here. So um, again, very like sailor, very cute, and very airy as well. And for our last look, we have this awesome wide sleeve shirt. It has a great wrap around it. Um, you can wear it on a nice Sunday or out after work. Um, the back is great as well. So again, for the summer, spring time, um, you can show off that lower back, which is awesome. And then also accessorize it with a choker. Chokers are totally in right now, so definitely pull it off. Um, but again, it's very flowy, airy. Spring's all about the florals and stripes. So definitely a great look together. Jerry and I have had a great time here at the Bloated Boutique. Hence why we're having a drink here at their awesome bar. Drinking while you're shopping. Can't get any better than that. For now, we're going to check out JT's closet and see what's going on for the spring 2017. I'm ready. <laughs> What's going on fellas? Welcome to my closet and today I'm going to show you the 2017 Spring Collection for men. So today we're going to talk about the Army Green. Green is a winning trend in 2017. These jeans are more of a straight leg skinny jeans. And what you can pair with this is a white button up shirt. Or if you're really into the Kanye West look, you can pair a gray shirt here. With the hose in it. It'll go with it. A great look. If you want to win, come to JT's Plaza for ET. But I like the fascinators too. I can see yeah. you were doing a photo shoot with the Yeah. That, that just nice. seems so and good. Love, the like in jumpers the and jumpsuits. Listen, I think I have an idea for like a show. Like I want to mm -hmm. do a cooking show where I'm like all dressed fabulous yeah. and still can cook food. Yeah. A different concept. Mm -hmm. Right. So catch this, I got a game we're gonna play. Okay. It's called Mary, F and Kill. I know that game. So I got three of them. Cold shoulder, male romper, <laughs> and Charlotte. Fashion plate. I'm going to marry Charlotte Fashion Plate, of course. Okay. I'm going to F <laughs> the heck out of the male romper. She's digging the male romper. Uh huh. <laughs> and I am stabbing to death the cold shoulder. Why? I hate it. <laughs> what do you hate I about? I loathe it. I I I don't think that it is really attractive. It's a bad area of any woman, mm -hmm. honestly. And it's highlighting. It's opening that area up. Right, right. 
for criticism. And I'm not one to criticize at all. However, whoever created the cold shoulder should not ever design another piece of clothing. Ooh. The shade. That was the extreme. And we're not even in Miami. And we getting yeah. shade. And you know Ooh. me, I never say anything negative. However, right. the cold shoulder needs to die. Cold um, shoulder is a no go. Not a slow death, a quick, quick. death. Pain. Like a whatever quick. will kill it quicker. We have some entertainment stories that we just have to talk about. Byron is going to come in and take over, and we're going to discuss trending topics. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Byron Graffiti and thank you for tuning in to the first episode of Level 21 TV. And basically today on my timeline I came across Monique y'all, Miss Parker, going in on Oprah, Tyler Perry, and Lee Daniels. I'm going to let y'all check the clip out and I'm going to tell you what I think about it. What is that black connected to? That black man? So no, I was not black bald. I was white bald. <laughs> By some black <laughs> who had no balls. All right, so basically, as you can see, she was just going in. But I'm gonna let her have that. You know, she was in her feelings about it. I don't feel no type of way about it because I believe she's telling the truth. I mean, you gotta believe somebody that, you know, don't shave their legs at the end of the day. What, what they got to hold back? So also on my timeline, y'all, apparently, you know, we all say goodbye to American Idol. I thought we were saying goodbye, but no, no, no. ABC has picked it up again and they have selected their first two judges. They're talking about Katy Perry and Chris Daughtry who did not win, but I think he was second. Look, I don't listen to that man music, so I don't know. Um, honestly, how I feel about them being judges. I mean, if I was on American Idol and Katy Perry told me I couldn't sing, I would just look at her and be like, well, can you? I mean, come on. Everybody, we're going to give a round of applause to Chris Brown because he ain't put his hands on nobody this week. So basically, he was performing and, you know, Chris Brown got them crazy fans and one of his fans, y'all. Uh, you know, just just watch this clip. Like I said before, he ain't put his hands on nobody. He just kept singing his little song. But yo, why, why security do that? Like, why they have to pull that girl? Like, she, you know, she just want an autograph. Next thing you know, she, you know, she out. I'm like, yo, like, y'all did not have to do old girl like that. But shout out to Chris Brown. He ain't lay a finger. He said, y'all, I don't want no problems. I'm tired of going to jail. Like, so everybody, come on. We're going to give a round of applause to Chris Brown. He handled that situation real good. My man, my man. This is definitely your boy, Byron Graffiti. I hope y'all enjoy Level 21 TV, and we will see you again in July. So at the end of each show, we like to make you laugh. So here is a social media meme of the day, which is Jasmine Love being petty. Hi, my name is Jasmine, and I'm addicted to being petty. I've been addicted to being petty for really as long as I can remember. I'm petty at work. I'm petty at home. I'm just petty towards everybody. Tell me, Jasmine, when was the last time that you were petty to a loved one? Um... Babe, it's time to eat! Damn, it's about time. I'm hungry. <laughs> That's what you get for putting smiley faces underneath Jessica's picture. I just can't help it. You know, I wake up petty. I go to sleep petty. I take naps petty. It's just in my blood. So Jasmine, it's been two months. How do you feel? Justin, I feel wonderful. I've been seeing therapy about three times a week for two months now. And I just feel like I'm delivered. All my petty days are behind me. That's so good. I'm so proud of you. Progress. That's what we all want, right? <laughs> Marks are far from me. Look, uh, make sure you send my check in the mail, though. All there, right, have a good one. There is no check. I'm always going to be petty. Cut. I, I guess we're done. I know we all have petty moments. 
right. Melissa, don't be petty with me when I want my plate. I, I will not give you <laughs> sauce <laughs> on a plate. On I a need plate the whole thing. I need it as a smiley face. I promise you that. So are you ever petty? No, I'm never petty. I don't think I'm ever petty either. <clears throat> when you're powerful, you never have to be petty. Yeah. <laughs> I, like I may though. be selfish at times, yeah, I can be but selfish. I don't mean to be. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not petty. No, I, I can be petty. I'm not gonna lie. I can be petty. I, I have. I can see that in you, and I just met you. So. Uh, really? <laughs> He's very petty. Yeah. Like when he and Stephanie went to Barty without me. Oh, Linda Barty. Right. Petty. See, it was nothing personal. It's all business. It's fine. It's fine. You. I promise. Melissa, thank you so much for coming. Next time, I need my plate. Make sure you guys follow her on Instagram, Charlotte underscore fashion underscore plate to get your latest looks and those latest recipes as well and you guys thank you so much for watching this is our first episode we're closing out level 21 tv follow us on instagram level 21 mag and you can also reach us through the web level21mag.com